Oil does magic. You know what? You know how it does magic? You take oil, you as you sell it. You don't have to pursue. You don't have to do anything else. You will be rich. Even if you live in the desert, or even if you live in Russia, you sell oil, you're rich. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about Yuri's speech, and I will be evaluating his speech technically. And there are two things that I want to commend about your speech, praise about your speech, and there are two recommendations that I want to give to you. Now let's start with the pleasant thing. What I love about your speech is you are supposed to choose your words correctly and use rhetorical devices. And if comparison or metaphor is a rhetorical device, or when you compare different things, you used, you used one very well when you said, well, imagine how deep a modern wells are. You start from here, you go to Red Square, it takes you three kilometers, and that's the depth of a current well. Really graphic comparison or whatever, great, great thing. Another thing that I like, there are two things that I like about your speech, are your vocal variety and your body language. Body language, you, if you express body language only when you're showing us how people in Azerbaijan were big in oil wells some time ago, and vocal variety, a couple of examples, I'll give you examples personally. Now, about things that I want to recommend you do differently the next time, and the things are large. These are not minor drawbacks. The things are first, the second and third project are there for a reason. Watch your structure and be clear about your goals. The second is ethics of speaking to talks masters in particular. The structure of the speech. You start with, for some reason, telling us the objectives of your speech. Why do you have to do that? You just wasted some of your time. But then you proceed with telling us about how magic oil is great. I was I was thinking that you would do in a speech about oil, in the financial speech about oil. Then you switch to how your job was magic. And your job, and when you were talking about your job, it wasn't much connected to oil. You were a business analyst or something like that. Work with data. And then you concluded with, come to our job interview, you may get a good job, something like that. And the thing is, it sounded to me like you had four separate speeches. First, completely unnecessary, redundant part with your objectives. Second, an informational part about oil. The third part about your job, which was not clearly and strongly connected to oil part. And the fourth, final part is come to have a job interview, which were not super clearly connected to oil in your job. And ethics is connected to the fourth point. If you come to, to the stage and say, well, I have a good, I'm, I work in a good company, buy our products, come to, to, uh, to participate in, in our company. And then the letter comes to the station and say, well, I have a nice dog, really nice dog, tell me. And by the way, I do augment that reality. If you need something, come to our company. <laughs> then, <laughs> <laughs> then he again he comes to the stage said, my grandmother is a wonderful woman. I love her very much. By the way, buy wines from our shop. Yeah. <laughs> and, and people will start doing this thing. There is some very tricky ethics thing. Please don't use the stage to promote your product. On the whole, on the whole, I think you should persevere and repeat your speech. And that's about it.